Live at 5, I'm Dana Winkleplek. And I'm Mike Tank. Two recent fires in the area are bringing attention to a very important issue. Both fires caused damage, and one of those claimed a life. And firefighters responded to those fires and discovered that smoke detectors were not used properly at either home. Abigail Degler spoke with a firefighter, and she tells us what people can do to protect themselves. Well, Dana, Mike, it's always good to know your exits and to have a plan on how to get to them quickest. But firefighter Josh Settler highlighted having a smoke detector in your home could raise the chances of survival in a fire. The outcomes on one of them could have been a lot different if it happened at nighttime. And obviously we had the worst of it all on the very first one on 14th and a half street where, you know, someone lost their life because the smoke detector wasn't working. A life claimed by uncontrolled flames and another home damaged. Both fires are raising concerns among the firefighter community because of one thing in particular. Firefighter Josh Sittler says both cases had fire detectors. But there's no batteries, so they were not operational. He says in certain cases, having this device functioning and with batteries can make a huge difference. President of Protect the Precious Diana Luther says their program helps educate the Wabash community on proper smoke detector maintenance and also provide one to those who may not have one installed. Luther says one of the easiest ways to keep your detector up to code is to write down when you're supposed to check it. Marking it on a calendar, so the first of each month, making sure that you've got a big sign on your calendar that says check your smoke detector. It's just as simple as going around to each of your detectors, pushing the button. Once you hear the chirp, you know you're good to go. She says this is a good habit to maintain that will keep your family safer if a fire happens in your home. Sittler says in addition to this, changing your detector batteries every three months is the most effective way to make sure it's still working properly. He says the most common mistake people make with detectors is not keeping an eye on the batteries. Either someone's removed a battery or they haven't checked their smoke detector batteries in a couple of years and it's not either functioning or it's not functioning correctly. Settler says he has seen a lot of fires that could have caused a lot less damage if a detector had been used properly. He says protect the precious and most fire stations can also provide you with one if one is not available to you. All you have to do is ask. And speaking of that, if you need help checking or installing a smoke detector or you want to donate to the smoke detector fund, please contact the Terre Haute Fire Department. That number, 812-244-2803, or go to the Facebook page, Protect the Precious.